Yeah! Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna do something very fun and exciting. I'm gonna try to recreate the modern Metallica James Hetfield rhythm tone. The new Metallica album 72 Seasons came out last week and I've been really enjoying this record. I love it a lot. In fact, I can honestly say that as of right now, this definitely is one of my favorite Metallica albums of all time. I don't know, it just really does it for me. And the guitar tone on this album is killer too. For years now, James has been blending amplifiers both on stage and in the studio. And apparently for this new record, he used a combination of his old Boogie Mark II C++ and a Jose modded Marshall for the faster tracks and a Dietzel VH4 for the slower tracks. In any case, the tone is pretty consistent on the record and it does remind me a lot of the tones on Hardwired as well as the tones on Death Magnetic. So today I'm going to do a sort of general tone based on the last couple of albums as well as James's live tone from the last 20 years or so. And let's see how close I can get. This should be interesting and a lot of fun. I'm excited. For the guitar, I'm using my ESP LTD Iron Cross James Hetfield signature guitar. Man, I love this thing. It looks so cool. This guitar obviously has the EMG headset, which really helps in getting that James Hetfield tone. These active pickups sound absolutely massive. But yeah, it's a cool guitar. It looks great. It plays great. It sounds great. It really does that Metallica thing. I really like it. Now, I recently used this guitar in my review and demo of my Mesa Boogie Single Rectifier 50, which is a great amplifier, by the way. And I wrote some riffs that were very much Metallica inspired for that video. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, check it out up here if you're interested. But anyway, I'm going to use those exact same riffs for this video because it just really does that Metallica thing well, I think. Anyway, great guitar. Now for the amp tones, I'm also going to try to blend two amplifiers, these amps that I have over here, these wonderful specimens. Now blending amplifiers can be a little bit tricky because of phase cancellation that can occur when you put two amps together. So this shall be interesting. I hope that it will go well. I don't have a Boogie Mark II C++, but I do have this Boogie Mark 535, which will do nicely. And I don't have a Jose modded Marshall or a Diesel VH4, so I will be using my Diesel VH2, which I acquired recently. Man, it's such a killer amplifier. I also did a full demo and review of this amplifier on the channel, which I recommend checking out up here or down here if you're interested, by the way. So I think and I hope that these amplifiers will do the job just fine, but we will see. Both amps will be fed into my RED7 amplification Amp Central Reactive Load as per usual. I just love that load box as it sounds great. And both amps will also be fed into unique Ohnhammer impulse response cabs. Okay, first let's take a listen to the tone that I've come up with. And after that, take a look at all the details. Check it out. I think that that tone turned out really well and it came out much better than I was expecting to be honest. 
So yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting that tone to sound that good. I'm pretty impressed actually at how good this setup sounds, but I'm relieved and glad that it sounds so awesome. Otherwise this video would have sucked, right? But yeah, it really does remind me of that modern Metallica James Hetfield rhythm tone. Really cool. Is it exactly the same? Probably not, but it's definitely close enough with my personal setup that I have here. So I played everything twice. I double tracked the guitars, played one on the right side and the other on the left side. And both tracks are each going through the two amplifiers. So that's two guitar tracks and four amplifiers, basically. Now the tones that I created with the individual amplifiers probably don't sound great on their own, but the magic is supposed to happen when you blend them. Together they sound pretty massive, I think. I also did some minor processing on the guitar bus, by the way, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's take a listen at the tones of the Mark 535 alone, so you guys can hear how this amplifier sounds by itself. Take a listen. So that's a pretty crunchy tone, kind of old school, scooped and tight. So that's the Mark V 35 amplifier on channel two with the extreme mode, which is my favorite mode on this amplifier. It has the thickest low end basically, and it does that Mesa Boogie Mark sound pretty well. So it's pretty crunchy and tight. And the graphic EQ is enabled of course, and it has quite scooped settings going on. For the IRs, I am using Libra, and I'm using the high gain mic mix from the Ohnhammer 412 Rect Essentials cabinet. So that's based on a 4x12 Mesa Boogie cabinet loaded with V30s. And both those guitar tracks are sent to one bus just to control the level of those guitars together. And then that bus is being sent to the master guitar bus where all the processing happens for all the guitars. And I do all of that there to prevent phasing issues because those can occur when you process one of the amps individually basically. So the diesel tracks are also going to their own bus and then that bus is also going to that master guitar bus. Now let's also take a listen to the diesel VH2 tone on its own so you can hear how this amplifier sounds by itself. that was quite a different tone, a bit more fuzzy in character, less tight, less old school, so a bit more modern, a bit more loose as well, nice and hairy, and sort of fuzzy with a very large and extended low end. I really love this amplifier a lot. Now I did check out James's actual VH4 settings. He uses channel three. Channel two on this amplifier should sound very similar to that channel. So with plenty of treble and presence, plenty of low end and with the mid scooped out a touch. For these IRs, I used a different cabinet. I used the Revolution Trad V30 cabinet, which is based on a Mesa Boogie 4x12 traditional cabinet with V30s. And I used the Forward 1 mic mix for this tone to be precise. So this overall tone has a different flavor than the Mark tone, both in the amplifier itself and the cabinet tone as well. And having those differences should fill out the sound quite nicely. Okay, now let's take a listen to what happens when we blend the amps together. Thank you. 
And as you can see, I have the Boogie Mark 535 set a little bit lower in terms of level than the Dietzel. I did try a bunch of levels and it just sounded better that way to my ears anyway. Let's take a listen. Cool, right? That's a pretty rich sound there. So I did do some post-processing to make the guitars sit in the mix better. And again, I did all the processing on the master guitar bus. So all the guitar tracks, all four tracks are being sent to that bus and that's where the processing happens. So let's do a quick AB of all the guitar tracks with and without the processing. So you can hear what sort of effects I'm using and what it's adding to the tone. Let's take a listen. Alright, so again, all the guitars are being sent to this group. Now, first of all, I'm cutting a little bit of low mids with the basic channel strip EQ, just to remove a little bit of that woofy and boxy sort of character in the low mids. And then with the Slate Digital Virtual Mix Rack, I'm also cutting some more mids, and I'm also doing a low cut just to remove that low end rumble and around 80 hertz or so. And then I'm also boosting some top end and upper mids with the Lift EQ. This adds a little bit of clarity, which is nice. And then I'm also doing a high cut at around 10K or so, just to remove that super top end fizz. Finally, I'm using the Waves F6 EQ, the Dynamic EQ, to also tame the low end a little bit on those low end chugs, whenever those frequencies are resonating, basically. So this EQ basically kicks in when I'm doing the palm muted notes and when the low end gets a bit exaggerated, basically. And this tames this all a little bit. Let's do some quick ABs of all the effects. Alright, so that's my attempt at recreating that modern Metallica James Hetfield rhythm tone. I hope you enjoyed it. What did you think? Definitely let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. That's all for this video. Please drop a like and subscribe down below as that really helps the channel out. And of course, dropping comments and stuff like that also really helps. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, by the way. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Cheers. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah.